Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 35. Today we continue our exploration of spreadsheets with formulas part 2. So in the last session we went into basic formulas like multiplication and addition. We also made our own custom formula for an average. We then explored the functions of sum and average. Now it's important for you to understand the difference between formulas and functions. Formulas are expressions which calculate the value of a cell, such as B2 times C2. Functions are predefined formulas that are already available to you in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever spreadsheet program you're using, such as sum or average. So today we're going to look at the max and min, the count and count A, and the often dreaded but really powerful if function. So the max and min are pretty simple. Basically what they do is they return the highest value and the lowest value respectively in a range. So if you wanted to see what was the highest value in this range, you would do the max formula. So again, you, you go in here and type equals max and then select that, close it out with a close parentheses and hit enter. There's your maximum value, your highest value. Same goes for min and select this section, close it out. It can be very useful when you have a lot of data and you want to know what was the lowest test grade, who made the highest in the class, things like that. Count is an interesting function because count um, will give you the number of items that match that condition. The, the basic condition there is, is it empty or not? So if I were to type that in there equals count and then the range, it's going to return nine. There are nine fields with values in them. But you'll notice that that nine only includes numbers, not strings, not letters, not words or things like that. If you wanted to count that, you have to use count A. So equals count A, parentheses, drag, close parentheses. And you'll see now it includes the other three. Last for today, uh, before we get into other kind of formulas in a different episode, is the if formula. It's one of my favorite formulas. It's so powerful, it does so much. It basically checks to see if there's a condition or not, and lets you display things or do things if, if something matches that condition. It may seem complicated, but it's really not. So if I were to come in here and I typed in this formula, if A2 is greater than 69, pass, otherwise fail. That's really how this is parsed out. But if you go to type it in, you type equals if parentheses and notice that the wizard's coaching you along. What's the logical expression? That is basically what is the condition you're checking for? So in this case, uh, if A2 is greater than 69. Now we're not going to worry about equal to or less than right now. That's, that's going to get more complicated. But if it is that, that's our logical expression, comma, what's the value if it's true? Now, if I just type in pass, it doesn't work because this is what they call strings whenever you use letters. They have to be put into quotation marks for it to use them in a formula. So then it says return the word pass, otherwise, comma, right, return the word fail, and then close it up. And it will go in there and say that's a fail. Now, if I copy and I paste this, it'll automatically change A3, but the value of 69 is still fine. And so it only changed A3 and it was kind of a smart paste. So that is a passing grade. And so you can just actually take this and just drag this down by using this little box here at the corner to uh, to copy that formula. And of course it's gonna it's gonna fail out on these because they're zeros and these at seeing those as, as greater than 69 for some reason. But if I were to come in there and just uh, just you know have random numbers that would work. It can also check for strings. And in this case, you have to put the strings in quotation marks again. So you might say, if if this has a yes, then give me 10 points to this or give $10 to this if they put a yes. Again, you would just type in uh, if A4 equals yes, again, in quotation marks, comma, the value if it's true, 10, and the value if it's false, zero. And um, you paste that, and this should be zero because it's not a yes, this is 10. Now, there's a lot more you can do with this, but that'll be for another episode. I don't want to go on too long. You've seen a couple of little max, min, count, and then the wonderful, wonderful if formula, which we're going to go into a lot more uh, in a future episode. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Click on that little bell for notifications. Share this video with your friends. Leave a suggestion for future Tech Tuesdays. And we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.